Welcome to Inside Networks In Briefs at our Income and Defensive Asset Symposium. My guest today is Frank Dinelli from MA Financial. Welcome, Frank. Nice to be here, Jamie. Tell me a bit about MA's financial focus and competitive advantage. MA Financial is an ASX-listed asset manager. We manage about $7 billion. And one of our core focus is on private credit. We tend to gravitate towards asset-backed lending. And the reason we do that is that for us, credit is all about capital preservation. And we're actually Australia's leading restructuring advisor. So what we like to bring is the insight and IP about how credit has gone wrong in okay. Australia and bring that into the credit origination process. So what, what, there's a lot of credit managers popping up and are around. What's driven this growth in Australia to, to, into credit managers? Yeah. Non-bank lending has been growing significantly in Australia, although I would say the penetration is much lower than we've seen in global markets. Oh, is that right? Yep. But what's been driving the increase in Australia has really been regulatory dynamics post the Royal Commission. And that's not just changes in bank capital regulations, which makes it harder for banks to do certain kinds of high quality economic business, but also a range of other phenomenon that create tailwinds for non-bank lenders, like best interest duties for brokers. So assume, uh, and you touched on it already, a good credit manager must have access to deals. So being a investment bank, um, is that one of the things within your DNA that separates you from, from other competitors? Look, we do think that the best deals don't come in competitive processes. The best deals are those that you find bilaterally, which can be through proprietary deal flow that comes across our platform, but it also can be through just having the right kind of culture where you can share ideas, cross-pollinate, and ensure that, that deals come to you because you become known in a particular space. And we've, we've worked really hard to build a focus on a couple of areas where we think we've got edge, and because we've got those edge, that, that kind of edge, we, we believe deals will, will come to us that, we, that are high quality. So tell me, as a, I'm an advisor by, by day, yeah. so tell me as an advisor, your, the, what strategy should I be considering to put into my client's portfolio? Look, we fundamentally believe in private credit that credit should be boring. It should be about delivering what you said you would every month with low volatility. And one of our flagship strategies in that respect is the MA Priority Income Fund. This is a half billion dollar asset backed lending strategy. It invests in very diversified, very granular loan portfolios. The key thing about it is that MA itself, so us with our own money, we co-invest 10% in the fund. But more important than that, our money is junior to yours. So okay. for you to lose just $1, we have to lose all of ours. And today that's $50 million that co-invested like with our clients. To me, Frank. <laughs> Give me an example of one of those investments, you know, some colour around what's under the hood. Yeah, sounds good. But look, one of them, one of the investments in that portfolio is a, a portfolio of self-managed super fund loans uh, that's in there. There's uh, 1,500 underlying um, loans in this particular portfolio. Uh, the reason that it's attractive is that banks can't do these kind of loans economically, so it falls into the world of non-banks. Yep. You can earn a premium for providing that kind of credit, but the security is really strong. The borrowers are super prime, and you've got really high asset security in the pool. No loan is more than 65% LVR, so you've got really high asset security. Yeah, fascinating. Thanks for your time, Frank. Thanks. Thanks.